I've only done one play, and that was at a church, and it was a peanut butter jelly play. I don't remember much about it. But... And God was involved in the peanut butter jelly play? God, I gotta find that. It's still early days. Not too much is known about the spinoff yet. But I did want to ask about the spinoff. When did you guys first sort of hear that this was a possibility? How were you approached? Give me a sense of sort of when this came up. Well, they told us the day that they told us young children was injured. So we both had a little mini Whiplash. heart attack that day. Yeah. They literally got us all on a Zoom call, told us young children was in it, and then they called us and said we was going to do this new thing. So wow. it was a lot for one day. Yeah. And, you know, obviously a very bittersweet feeling to say farewell to this wonderful show. And then also know that we get to carry on this storyline. And we feel very grateful for that. But we're currently right now at the sort of at the tail end of the season, this final season, and it's emotional. Now, Montana, I've heard you say in past interviews how you love this experience on Young Sheldon, but you could also see yourself doing other things beyond acting, maybe. Did you ever in your wildest dreams think that you would get this whole other second chapter for Georgie? No, I, mean, I didn't think I was going to get Young Sheldon. I didn't. From where I'm from, this stuff like this don't happen. Being on, you know, Young Sheldon for seven years, I thought I was at the top of the world there. And then they come, you know, with this new show and I don't know, I'm excited for it. It's going to be a journey. Young Sheldon is single cam and this new spinoff is going to be a multi-cam shot in front of a live audience. Emily, I saw your Instagram post at the time about this spinoff sort of fulfilling your multi-cam dreams. Is that something that you've missed doing Sheldon as a single cam? It's just a completely different experience. It's a completely yeah. different different form of comedy and you know i've paid my dues with multicam i've done a lot of multicam over the years and it's so fun and my favorite part of that is the live audience and feeling like you're doing a new play every week i really enjoy that process and as much as we love our, our young sheldon crew and they're they're wonderful people to work around because they all laugh and they make us feel great there's something different about actually performing in front of people that are there to watch you perform and it sort of like ignites something new in your performance and it's it's wonderful i'm very excited for you to experience that it's great yeah it's something i've never done before so it's something i might have to get used to but um i've only done one play and that was at a church and it was a peanut butter jelly play i don't remember much about it but... and god was involved in the peanut butter jelly <laughs> play god i gotta find that <laughs> yeah we're gonna need some footage of that toronto yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna oh that's long peanut butter jelly jesus play <laughs> Oh, was it peanut butter Jesus? That might have been that. It was that. Yeah. Oh, incredible. I hope they like HCC up a few years and we can have that as a storyline. I know. We're, well, we're, 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 I know. We, I mean, yeah, they might age us up. They might age her up. I don't know. Yeah, I was going to ask about that because it's such a sitcom trope that you have a baby and then you come back the next season and suddenly there's a toddler. Have you guys given any thought? You know, I'm sure you've been working with babies a lot last season and this season, whether perhaps you would prefer if you came back and suddenly there's a toddler on the set instead of working with all these sets of twins. I'm actually curious how I've, I've never logistically, I've never worked with a newborn. Um, mm -hmm with a live audience i think that would might be tricky i think toddler age is funny i mean i think that would be great. Yeah. but we'll just we'll just have to see we'll take the baby at any it's ours we'll take her at any age. do you guys have any sort of stories about working with the babies this last year or two things just not going the way they were supposed to Oh, them babies are great. They're great. They really They're are. really great. And they love this one, too. Oh, they love it. to rip my hair out. <laughs> like, you know, you're right here and they just rip and then there's That's... just a whole ball of hair. <laughs> They're the cutest little things. They're really, really, really cute. What the hell are you doing here? Hello, Georgie. It's just George now. We know that Georgie in the future goes on to run a successful chain of tire stores, but we don't really know anything about what Mandy does in the future. Uh, Emily, have you- Isn't that great though? Isn't that it a is really great. Thing? We don't really have something set in stone from her that, that was established during Big Bang that we can kind of sort of do what we want. I'm hoping she gets back into the weather girl thing. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. that for her. Well, then that could bring rain to uh, to this whole area here. But I, I definitely see her having some sort of career. I don't think they can, they can have Manny just be mom and wife, you know? It's much funnier mm -hmm. when women are stressed out over their career than their children. There's mm -hmm. nothing that they really have to follow other than, yeah. you know, the tire store. The tire store, and yeah. That, you know, they can take that anywhere, right? So there's so mm -hmm. many different things that they can do for this new show. 
and uh, we put all our trust in them. Though one thing that was established on Big Bang, and you know, we've played fast and loose with continuity, but in the series finale, Sheldon had joked about receiving text messages from Georgie's ex-wife and his other ex-wife. My brother's ex-wife. My brother's other ex-wife. <laughs> are you guys sort of hoping that sort of they toss that out the window and Georgie and Mandy are just endgame? I'm hoping that I'm I'm the ex-wife and the new wife. People mm -hmm. do that. People get divorced and then get remarried. Why can't you be both? That's right. 